hello hello again our pile over here is getting smaller so welcome back to my channel today I am going to be talking about another collection from glam polish so this is their candy fornication collection so this collection is based off of the Katy Perry songs uh, California girls and California girls yeah just California girls so um, I'm really really excited about these these will be available February 3rd at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. This is an Australian-based company, like I said in my last video. However, their shipping to the United States is completely reasonable. $3.80 for your polish and then like a dollar for each polish after that. So considering the super, super low shipping rates from Australia, that is absolutely impeccable. So there are 10 polishes in this collection. I got five of them. Um, I don't know what the other five look like, but I'm super excited to find out because uh, I'm a big fan. So in the description box below, I will link Glam Polish's site as well as their Instagram page. I'll also link my Instagram page where I will have more swatches and video swatches and macros and all of that good stuff that you'd like to see of this collection. Or of the five that I got of this collection. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start these bad boys. So first up, we have So Hot Will Melt Your Popsicle. And this is described as a bubblegum pink crelly with holographic micro glitter and hollow flakies. So here's our first coat of So Hot Will Melt Your Popsicle. This has a really nice formula, very easy to use, very opaque on this first coat. It is a little bit patchy, so I am going to go in for a second coat. Um, real quick, everything in this collection that I have so far has the same nice formula, just nice and cohesive. So here's our second coat, and this one does cover completely in two coats. It dries down pretty smooth, a little bit textured, nothing like crazy, but it's just a little bit textured. So there's two coats. Up next we have Underneath the Palm Trees, and this is described as a pastel spring green crelly with holographic micro glitter and holographic flakies. So here's our first coat of Underneath the Palm Tree. Again, really nice, really easy to work with formula. These will be a little bit difficult to remove because of the micro glitter. This has an amazing color though. Again, a little bit patchy here on this first coat, so I am gonna go in for a second coat. So here's our second coat of Underneath the Palm Trees, and this one does cover completely in two coats. Just like Glam Polish's last collection and only collection that I've reviewed, these are very user friendly. So there's two coats. Up next we have California and this is described as a pastel periwinkle crelly polish with holographic micro glitter and holographic flakies. So here's our first coat of California. Again, just a little bit sheer on this first coat, but amazing formula in general. I mean, I really have nothing else to say about these. <laughs> Dries a little bit textured, a little bit difficult to remove. So here's our second coat of California, and again, this one covers completely in two coats. I am getting a little bit more polish on my brush than necessary, so you might see me manipulating it a little bit more than normal. So there's two coats of California. Next up we have Daisy Dukes bikinis on top and this is described as a pastel lilac crelly with holographic micro glitter and holographic flakies. Here's our first coat of Daisy Dukes bikinis on top. Guess what? This had a great formula that was easy to work with. It is a little bit sheer on this first coat so I am going to go in with a second coat. Being as opaque as all of these are, nothing stained my nails. So there's our first coat, and here's our second coat of Daisy Dukes bikinis on top. I did want to say that all five of these polishes look absolutely stunning with a matte top coat as well. If that's your style, it's definitely mine. I've heard some people don't like it, which absolutely blows my mind. So there's two coats. 
And lastly for today, we have Wild Wild West Coast, and this is described as a candy glitter bomb with color shifting, iridescent glitter, and holographic micro glitter. So in here I also see matte pink, blue, and black glitter, and then a shifting gold and a, yeah, that iridescent holographic glitter as well. So here's our first coat of Wild Wild West Coast. So this is a glitter polish and a clear base, so it does take a little bit to build up. You do get a ton of glitter out, a ton of that holographic micro glitter as well. This is very easy to use and it has a really nice base to glitter ratio. So here's our second coat of Wild Wild West Coast and this one builds it up, but I am going to go in for three coats. It will get a little bit thick on your nails if you don't wait for these to dry completely in between each coat. Yes, I have heard of the sponging method. Yes, it will work with this. I don't prefer to do that though. Here's our third and final coat and this one covers, I want to say 95% on this third coat. So really, it shouldn't be a big deal, especially if you don't have like a super big nail line to cover up. So there's three coats. And real quick, I wanted to layer it over a few different colors. The black right here is going to really show that iridescent color shifting glitter. This blue is really going to highlight the pink in there. The black also really highlights the holographic. The pink contradicting is going to very, very much so highlight the blue glitter. And then the white is going to highlight the black glitter. So whatever kind of effect you want from this polish is really going to be dependent on how you wear it. Okay, Wild Wild West Coast um, was definitely my favorite of this collection. Not that the others weren't beautiful, it's just that I have, I have the others. Um, but this, oh, this was breathtaking. I opened my bottle, I opened my package and was like, no, no, gosh. Um, let me just go ahead and put it into retrospect for you. That right here, I already have like a decent fill line of this because I can't stop using it. It's beautiful as accent nails, it's beautiful matted, it's beautiful as a full manicure, it's it's just beautiful as a glitter gradient, it's great for everything. So Wild Wild West Coast was definitely my favorite of this collection. And that is it. Let me know what you guys thought of these polishes that I got. Let me know if there was a favorite that you had. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll talk to you again next time.